Hi everyone, this is Michael Stoltz with michaelstoltz.com, changing the world one pixel at a time. Okay, so today's purpose of this video is to show you how to set up a branded domain name uh, or an email address to be able to send it utilizing your free Gmail account um, that you probably already log in and use a lot right now. Um, the other thing would be is if you have several domains, let's say it's uh, abc.com, uh, xyz.com and all these different other uh, company names that you're utilizing the biggest frustration is people are like hey I don't want to log into multiple platforms to send and receive email and Google provides us an avenue to send it and manage it all in one spot so this video I've set up this email example test email at gmail.com what you want to do first is you want to go to wherever you bought your domain or purchased it at uh, whether that's one in one GoDaddy, Hostway, HostGator, Bluehost, FatCal, whatever, and go to the email section and say, hey, create a new email. For this example, I set up an email called info at michaelstoltz.com. Now, during that setup process, it asked me, hey, if someone emails you at this email address, would you like to forward a copy somewhere else? And the answer is absolutely yes. So I have set it up where when I send an email, or someone sends an email to info at microsoft.com or whatever your email address is that you want to set up it's going to go to this free gmail account that I've set up so now that you've got that set up let's let's dive right in so over here on the top right you'll have this little settings wheel click on it select mail settings click accounts and import come down in the middle where it says send mail as and I want to select this gray box that says send mail from another address going to pop up this box right here and basically type in the name or whatever you want to say when you send an email out here's an email address I'm going to use for this example click next step now Google says hey you got two options here send this through us or use your hosting company's mail servers now we want to actually use the hosting company where you purchased your domain from their mail servers but let me give you an example uh, if you just left it as send through Gmail, this is what is going to pop up is right here. As you see here on the screen, when you receive an email using Gmail's servers, it's going to say Mike at gmail.com on behalf of so and so at Mike at info blah 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 advertising.com. And so that's exactly what the from address is going to be look like. Now I would say that if any of us, you know, own a small, you know, if you own a small business, you're in marketing or, or whatever it is, nonprofit, um, you would think that um, you know branding and perception is key. So in this case, the example that I'm going to proceed with with you um, is it, basically going to change this where all it says is info at michaelstokes.com and I'll show you an example of that right there. So let's move on here. Select send through your domain.com SMTP servers. For this purpose it, it's irrelevant what this actually means but um, your hosting company will tell you exactly what this info needs to be once you set up your email. So mine for example is um, if I type it correct is one in one dot com your username is the full uh, email address and you use the password that you selected over here it says port 587 you have different options uh, my, my opinion is just leave it as it's in there right now don't change it unless your hosting company when you set up that email address specified you need to use something different again they will give you instructions on what to input in these fields down below most uh, companies are going to ask you to use a secure connection and it's highly recommended uh, I am going to leave it as default next just click add account what's going to happen now is they Google's going to send info at microsoft.com a uh, basic uh, a verification code so in this example since you've already set this up to forward to example or whatever your free Gmail account is you'll receive that email now for my purpose I have 
I did not do that because I don't plan on using um, uh, this um, you know email address whatsoever. But uh, let me go grab the verification uh, number here. Okay. Lost my box. All right. Oh. Click verify. Bada bing, bada boop. So we are all verified. So now, as you guys see on the screen here, you have your free Gmail account that you can send mail as and receive. You have your domain. My example is info at microsoft.com. Right there. And you can set up multiple. I believe you can set up like 10 different ones. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but I use several on my other free Gmail account as well. I recommend that you select the radio box or the button that is if it's not already selected reply from the same address the message was sent to so if you emailed me at info microsoft.com and I replied back it will automatically put this as the my email address or the from address I also recommend is if you want to send email without changing this make it your default on here so let's do an example go back to your mail screen Select, select Compose Mail. Now, as you see up here at the top, it already selects info at Microsoft.com. But if you have multiple set up, you can select which one you want to send from. So let's um, let's uh, give you an example. Test email at gmail.com. Testing Mike's email test. Right here. So I'm going to send an email to myself. Hit send. All right. So here it is. Here is how the email will appear to whoever you send it to. It has my name, subject line, just like normal. You open it up. Show details. Now the from line it says info at microsoft.com. They have no idea that you are using a free Gmail account to facilitate this whole process. So without getting into more detail, this is just one of many ways you can make this happen. But I want to show this to you because it's the, probably the easiest thing that most people can do and have that branded email address that we all talk about in marketing if we're a small business or whatsoever. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions or if you need help setting it up, I would be able to help you with that. You can email me at mike at michaelstoltz.com or you can uh, call me at 816-200-1100.